I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, we officially have fewer houses on the market right now than ever. Also, Florida water literally stinks. I'm gonna tell you what to do about your water and your house. It's all just ahead. It's You Have Real Estate. If you've been threatened by the IRS, you're not helpless. I'm attorney Justin Clark. You have the power to fight wage garnishments and to fight levies on your account. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your life. This is a special offer from IQ Power Solar. Stop paying high electric bills with a solar power system from IQ Power Solar. And now it's never been easier. IQ Power Solar can give you immediate electric bill relief right now when you go solar. IQ Power Solar will reimburse you for your very next electric bill. Plus, if you're a first responder, IQ Power Solar will pay your program payment for the rest of the year. Call 407-585-1018 now or visit iqpowersolar.com. Welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, or even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of like hitting multiple open houses, all from your living room, but with my attorney advice throughout the way. Any questions whatsoever, I have people standing by to answer them. 407-205-0400. If you're looking for that dream home in this crazy real estate market, you will have to get a pre-approval. Dallas Lehman is standing by at that very same phone number to get you pre-approved before you start that house hunt. Excellent program for you in store today, but first, the opening statement. The opening statement today is brought to you by my very good friend, Stephen Bader, the COO of IQ Power Solar. We went solar last year. As you know, I saved $10,000 in taxes. My electricity bill went down to about $50 a month from 500. Steve, how did you do it? A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, owned and operated locally right here in Central Florida and have been in existence for over 10 years. It's IQ Power Solar and their COO, that being Stephen Bader, he's here with us. And Stephen, you know, when it comes to walking through the process, maybe I'm interested in, in becoming a solar panel owner here at my home. Let's talk a little bit about how that process initially works and then the steps involved. Well, the first thing we do is we do a home energy audit. We come and evaluate your systems, we take a look at your electric bill, and we really identify what's contributing to that electric bill. Um, after we do that, we basically design a system and a program that's going to be best for you. Um, and we always try to find a program and a system that's going to cost less than the electric bill we're saving. Meaning, if we're eliminating a $300 electric bill, we're gonna to try to find you a program that's $300 or less. So it's kind of a no-brainer, right? So, and then once you sign up with us, we have our office staff that takes care of everything. We take care of the permitting, we take care of the HOA applications, we take care of everything for you. It's a customer experience outline that is pristine, and it's all about just moving forward and being user-friendly. Well, as always, consultations are absolutely free. Go ahead and use the number on your TV screen or jump on to iqpowersolar.com. One of our proud members here of News 6, pros who know, IQ Power Solar. Thanks so much, Stephen. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Justin. Just the other day, we closed a 15-year, 1.75% refinance. You still have the opportunity for your historic rate. Let's talk today, your pre-approval is always free and there's never an application fee. Own your home and don't throw another dollar away on rent. My name is Dallas Lehman. I'm here every Saturday to help tailor your best loan scenario. Let's get started. Just call me today, 407-205-0400. Your under one roof team is always here for you. Your house right now is worth more than you think it is. Check Zillow if you wish. Your house is worth more than it says on Zillow. The Orlando area real estate market right now is insane. The craziest ever been in our entire lifetime, I assure you that. Houses right now in Orlando for sale have hit an all-time record low. We only have 2,655 homes on the market. To give you a little bit of an example of what that means, in April alone, we sold 4,081. We sold more houses in April than we have on the market right now. And the price you say, the price in the last month has gone up $10,000. That doesn't sound like a lot, Justin, just 10 grand. In a month, 
$10,000 is a crazy increase in property values. We've never seen anything like this in the history. They say that we have an inventory right now. The 2,600 houses that I told you that are on the market, an inventory that will last us three weeks. Not three months, three weeks. The average inventory that we need to keep a market sort of st stable is six months. We have three weeks worth of houses and you wonder why it is so hard to buy a house right now. Okay, so Justin, is the market overly inflated right now? And I think that's a very good question. I think most experts will tell you that the house values right now are about 17% above the true value. I don't know really what that means necessarily. It means that, okay, maybe it's a little bit inflated, but if you look back at 2006, the past peak of this market, it was 65% above true value. So look, I think it's still a great time to buy if you can find a house because the interest rates are still so low. My theory on the interest rates is that it's going to go up. I think the rates are going to go up because of all this media coverage about what's going on in this market. What does all this mean to you? What does this mean for your house hunt? We're going to answer that question by asking real questions. Also, bonus for you today, though, as well, the water in Florida is known as the second worst in the country. The second worst, only behind Texas. What can you do to make sure that your water quality in your house is drinkable? Make sure that you can even take a shower in it. We'll talk about that as well. Every Saturday here in the program, we ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. Returning visitors today have Carter Burks with Carter Water. How are you, Carter? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, Justin. And Andrea Rickheim, realtor extraordinaire. First of all, welcome to the new studio. I don't know what we're doing right, but the station <laughs> gave us a new studio. You're it's the first people ever here with me. Uh, so I guess congratulations. Hey, it's beautiful. It's great. It is nice, right? Is. I, I, I don't look any skinnier in here. They promised me that my <laughs> face would look more svelte, and that was all a big lie. But anyway, Andrea, let me start with you. You heard the opening statement. We're here together for that. It's crazy. This market is totally insane. You're down there. You're a working agent every day, seven days a week. What are you seeing out there? Well, Justin, I'm seeing exactly what you're talking about. Um, the market is insane. Um, my sellers are loving it. Uh, we are getting contracts accepted within 24 to 48 hours, well above asking price, which is amazing. Um, however, my buyers, we are struggling a little bit. We are looking for weeks on end, putting in multiple offers. Um, I mean, we could see 20 houses in a week and just we're one of many. Um, they're getting 10, 12, 15 offers on every home, all above asking. So we're having to get really creative yeah. um, in, in how we approach to get our contracts accepted right now. A lot of people out there are saying that real estate agents are making bank right now. It's a great time to be a real estate agent. And I think yet for some, maybe, but it's actually a weird time to be an agent. How would you describe being a, a realtor right now? Um, it's difficult. Um, again, if you can get those listings, but you talked about it, we have 2,600 houses on the market. That means only 20, if, if each one of those were realtors, you have 2,600 people making commission off of that. Yeah. Um, so no, no, it is a lot of work. I'm putting in a lot of hours. I'm driving a lot um, to help my clients. And um, you know, I, I wouldn't change it for the world because yeah. I love it but I would like a little more stabilized market if I, if I had my say. The, the big question that I, that I know you have is, well, I live in this house, I love the house, but I've seen the market value for my house absolutely explode. But I need to live somewhere. Do I take the cash out now, go buy something it's hard to buy? Do I take it out and then go rent or do I stay here? And Andrew, this is a question that a lot of families are having right now because once they actually see what their house is worth, mm -hmm. realize they have a ton of equity, that cash would be nice to have in the bank, you know, but how do you make that decision when someone calls you and says, Andrea, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should sell. I don't know if I should stay. What should I do? How, how does that conversation go? So we usually um, talk about what their goals are, what they want to do. Some of um, some of the um, buyers I am helping are looking at different school districts, getting into different areas. Maybe they didn't get into the school they wanted to in this go round. So they're like, you know what, let's move. So I've helped a couple basically leave their home, we found them a home, then we were able to put theirs on, on the market. Mm -hmm. And it sold, again, within two days. So it's, it's, it's a hard conversation, and it's what's best for the family, yeah. um, really. Definitely a different, difficult conversation, but what do you see happening the rest of the year? What do you think is really gonna go, as we sit here in what, oh. June now, basically, 
But what do you think is going to happen? I know, tough question. Well, my crystal ball is yeah. a little cracked right now, but <laughs> um, I like to think that um, we're seeing some more come on the market. We are definitely seeing some things. Um, it's still hot. Uh, people are moving in from out of state. I've got several out of state clients looking for places. So we're getting an influx of people. So if you're open to selling your home, please, please, please reach out to um, a qualified real estate agent that can help you with this because it, it's not an easy, it's not an easy market to to figure out. This show is here in a lot of ways to support you, obviously, but also to support the, the great agents we have in Central Florida, the great realtors we have in Central Florida. And they're a little bit mad at me right now, and I'll tell you why. Because in the past, we've been doing the show two years now, I've always said, look, if you're listing your house and your agent comes over and says it's worth 500 grand, don't say I want to do 580 just to throw something against the wall. My tune's kind of changed a little bit here over the last couple months because sometimes an agent will come over and, okay, maybe the other house in the neighborhood sold for 500 grand, but I see no problem right now with listing your house higher than what your agent is saying, just because of the craziness that we're seeing out there. Don't hit me. <laughs> what do you think? I, I actually agree with you. Right. So what I do with my clients is I do a full comp. And the reason I do that is I want them to know what their house will potentially appraise for. That is a big yeah. key in this market. Sure. Um, and then I say, what would you like to do? And then we kind of settle and see where it goes. And then once we hit a number, then it even the offers come in higher. So I come back and bring them back down to reality and say, that is great. We will accept it. But let's keep in mind, we have to worry about an appraisal. So unless there's an appraisal contingency or what I'm calling an appraisal gap mm -hmm. these days where people are offering to cover the difference of the appraisal, um, if, you're, if, if you have that, then you can accept that higher number. Um, but you have to think about that appraisal still because the appraisals are behind our rise in prices right now. And, and in my defense to you and, and all the agents out there, the reason I'm saying, look, let, let's shoot high right now is because, did you hear the opening statement of the show? We went up $10,000 month to month on the, on the average house in this, in this market. So you have to understand it's going up every month. And that's why I'm saying, even if the recent sales say 500 grand, that it's at least 510 based on what I'm seeing here. So don't be afraid right now, if you're gonna sell your house, to list high, but also don't be afraid to call Andrea. She'll tell you what your house is worth. These Zillows, none of this stuff is trustworthy. <laughs> call a local agent like Andrea right now, 407-205-0400. But I think a lot of people are gonna say, you know what, I, I don't wanna rent, so I'm just gonna stay in my house right now. And when they do that, Carter, what you might not know about your water quality is Florida has the second worst water quality in the entire United States. Is this true? The entire United States. Unbelievable. Justin. And it doesn't matter if you're moving into a $200,000 home or a million dollar home, you still have the second worst water in the nation right now. <laughs> better off drinking out of the Mississippi River, I you think, might, you might you're telling me. Just take a big drink out of St. John's. Why, why is it so, why? yeah, St. John's, that flows north, by the way. That's, that's what I know about Florida uh, rivers. What, uh, why, why is it so bad? Well, you have to look at a couple of different factors. One, our water mains here in Florida are so shallow. I mean, sometimes the cable line to your home is deeper than what the water line is. So the city has to hit it with this ton of chlorine to keep any type of bacteria from growing mm -hmm. in it. So we get that. I mean, most of the times when I test someone's water in their home, it's got more chlorine in it than a swimming pool. Ish. I mean, Justin, you wouldn't take a bath in your swimming pool, would you? Well, no. you, you, you might. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You bathe in the river. I don't care. <laughs> not going to make me smell any butter. <laughs> but you combine that with the um, sometimes 10 to 14 grains per gallon hardness that we have here. As for instance, you know, we're up in Atlanta, Georgia, too. Up there, hardness is about three grains per gallon hard. Really? So it's that much worse. I find that the water smells differently here for some reason. When I, when I left Massachusetts in, what, 2006 or seven, and came down here, and I didn't know if that different smell was good or bad. I didn't know what it was. I just knew it smelled yeah. different than the water up there. W what creates that smell? Well, water itself is tasteless and odorless. It's simple. You shouldn't yeah. smell anything or taste anything. It's all the chemicals that are in the water, the chlorine, the calcium, magnesiums. Sometimes you have fluoride issues as well. So yeah. all that combined gives you that lovely smell coming out. And, and you also have to remember it sits in your pipes yeah. all day and all night. Oh, it's just right. building up. Go home today and take the screen off your faucet mm. and look at it. Yeah. I never thought about that. <laughs> and then text me a picture. We don't want to do that, do we? You might what what am I going to see? You're going to see probably sediment. Uh, maybe some black from all the O-rings mm -hmm. breaking down. Um, 
Yeah. And then we all think that, okay, well, I have this new fancy refrigerator that's got the mm thing, and now that's going to clean up all the messes, right? Is that, how, what's that doing for me? A refrigerator filter is a Band-Aid at best. Uh -huh. uh, the carbon is very low end, and here in Florida's water, you probably have to change that out probably five, six times a year if you really want to yeah. have quality water. My light's out. always on. It's on so much that it's just like, <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? I know. And it's a pain, too. Where do you order these filters? I don't know. Home uh, Depot? No. I don't think they sell it at the Home Depot. Yeah, exactly. Who has time to do that? So you guys have an awesome system that's going to clean up all of my water problems over at Carter Water. And by the way, do yourself a favor. If you own a house and you're bathing in that water, or you're drinking that tap water at your house, you have to call my buddy Carter. It, it, it costs nothing for this consultation, absolutely free. Same phone number, 407-205-0400. Once I make that call, Carter, what happens from there? You get that call, you may just get me and never know. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna have someone come out at your request to do a no cost, no ob obligation water test. We're gonna educate you through our water awareness program and uh, we'll take it from there. We'll show you what's in the water and it's really up to you if you want to fix it, but most people really want to fix it at that point. Yeah, no doubt about it. P chefs will always tell you that if you go to the grocery store and buy fish, it's not supposed to smell like fish. Same with your water. Right. If, you sm if you take a shower and you smell your water, something's wrong. Water doesn't smell. No, it doesn't. And, and think about this. We spend all this money on organic uh, food at the yeah. grocery, and we oh, bring yeah. it home. We rinse it off in chlorine. <laughs> I've never thought about that either. Yeah, you go good. spend all your dough at the Whole Foods, thinking you're uh, yeah. providing uh, great stuff for your family, and then you, you rinse it off with this terrible water. So, what does a program look like with Carter Water? What do you guys do? You come in and, and install a, a system. Does it go in the garage? What, what does it look like? Well, we're going to come out. And we're going to find the main water line where it actually goes into the home. And that may be in the garage, it may be outside, but our products with Puronix are made to go outside. And nine times out of 10, they do go outside. Uh, but they are covered up to keep you safe from the weather and, and everything like that. Right. But uh, we determine that when we come out to the home. It can go in many, many different locations. I've heard you talk about Puronix before. Uh, excellent product they have there. What, how does that work with Puronix? What, what, are they the, the manufacturer? What are they exactly? Exactly, yeah. We are an uh, authorized dealer of Puronix okay. here in Central Florida. And back in the 80s, uh, NASA actually came to Puronix and they created the technology to treat the water on the space shuttle. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, okay. it's phenomenal. And the media, the silver hygiene, is actually registered with the EPA as well as a drinking water media. It prevents any type of bacteria growth inside the system. And that's a big problem here in, in, throughout Florida because you have water softeners sitting on the side of your home getting baked all day by the sun. And there's, I've taken many apart and I've seen some. Fun stuff in there. But yeah. yeah. safe to say, Puronix is kind of the Rolls Royce of the Definitely. water world. Definitely, but it's got a Chevy price. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, very good point. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys do an awesome job over there. And, you know, once I learned about how bad our water really was here, I mean, Florida, it, it, it literally stinks. The, the water in Florida literally stinks. And you have your family living there. Do yourself a favor, get Carter out there right away. And look guys, and it's not that expensive either. Are there payment plans or financing? How, how does that work? Absolutely. Okay. You know, it's, uh, um, you can easily finance one. It's revolving financing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's less than a cup of coffee a day right. to have good clean water and have good clean coffee in your house as well. But think, yeah, exactly. But think about how much we spend buying those bottles of water. It just if, if you buy one bottle of water a day, it's what, two, three bucks now. Absolutely. And, and you can just now fill up all those big bottles at the house and cost Absolutely nothing. Exactly. And it does change the coffee as well. I, the people in my house won't even drink the uh, coffee from home anymore, because. but I think no. if they had the good water, they probably would. They would. You know, the other day, actually, I did an experiment with my dog. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, they're so used to drinking good, clean water. I actually took some, went outside and got some raw, unfiltered no. tap water, put it down. The dog came by and sniffed it. He's Are done. you serious? He walked away from it. My goodness. He wouldn't even drink it. Really? So even animals, you have to remember your animals need good clean water too. I, I and, don't, they, and they can smell it and taste it too. I don't know if my dog Brocco would, uh, <laughs> he'll eat Christmas <laughs> trees and things, you know, so I don't know, I don't know if he would. Uh, but awesome. Call Carter right now, 407-205-0400. You're going to stick around, right? I'll All be right, here. Yeah, sit tight for one second. We have more questions for you. But Andrea, I wanted, we're talking about this crazy real estate market. I wanted to sh you to show us a couple listings that are out there 
right now so we can kind of get an idea of what it really costs to get in a home now. And let's start in a beautiful neighborhood that I know. This is Aliqua up Perfect. in the Longwood sort of Lake Mary area. Tell yes. me about 1755 Aliqua Drive. Well, I'm excited to tell you about this. It is um, on an, over an acre in the prestigious guard gated golf community of Aliqua, like you mentioned. Um, this home is over 3,759 square feet. It's four bedroom, three and a half bath huge pool spa the covered porch goes the length of the back of the home um, so an amazing entertaining um, home for sure um, on top of it this house is literally move-in ready you've got a new septic a new roof and new acs wow. so um, yeah this home is is on the market and um, ready for some buyers to come in and give us some offers how quickly do you think this one's gonna go uh, I'm hoping it's that 24 to 48 yeah. hours as well. So I know my uh, sellers would be thrilled with that. And then right up the road, a little bit less in price, but also a great area is 5221 Piper Lane, yes. Sanford. Tell me about this one. Correct. So this one's uh, right behind Astor Farm, or sorry, right by Astor Farms and behind Lake Forest. It's 2,941 square feet, four bedrooms, four bath, listed at 575. Uh, it's decorated like a model home. It is beautiful. It has amazing built-ins, as you can see, the bar, um, entertainment center, a desk, tons of closet systems. It has a unbelievable backyard oasis. The um, pool is huge. It has a spa. It has a fire pit. Um, it is, it's the place to be, and it is in a great neighborhood. Great part of booming Sanford, too. This is sort of on the west side of I-4 in Sanford. Great part of town, yes, for sure. Yes, yes. If you'd like to see these properties, please call Andrea right now, 407-205-0400. Or if you're thinking about selling your house and you want to get an accurate value, she'd be happy to do that for you. She'll do a market analysis and tell you what your house is really worth. And again, whatever she says, if you're going to list it, go up a little bit. Just tell her Justin said to do it. And she, she's not going to get mad at you. Excellent job, guys. Can you stick around for the Real Estate Roundtable? Absolutely. Round table? Awesome. And without further ado, it's time for your portion of the program. It's the Real Estate Roundtable. Every Saturday, I answer your questions from throughout the week. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page. You have real estate. Ask me a question right there, and we might just answer it next week right here on the TV station. Uh, Sam in Tampa, love watching on Facebook, Justin. Thank you, Sam, I appreciate that. How in the world do I get an offer accepted right now? I've made an offer on 24 homes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this is this is the story right now. Yes. What do yes. you think? Anything, I mean, is he gonna send a letter like, I love Janie's room, I will so you I'll keep it pink? That. What do you do? I don't know. I've had sellers accept based on letters they've received. So really? absolutely that. I would definitely, as I alluded to about the appraisal contingencies, what I'm calling an appraisal gap, um, if they've got a little bit of extra cash to throw in and um, offer to to meet that appraisal gap, where it appraises and where your, your contract offer actually is. Um, those would be my first suggestions. And just make sure you've got a great real estate agent, you know, helping you out to figure these out. Yeah, awesome. Sarah in Ocala, how does the water quality with your system, Carter, compare to bottled water? Mm, that is a great, great yeah. question. Uh, how much more time do we have? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, bottled water, you have to remember, uh, most of that is what we call in the industry glorified tap water. Yeah. And especially get the spring water comes out of the ground. You have to remember the EPA does not do anything with bottled water. No one in the FDA as well. They're not monitoring that. Right. So and you also have to look at microplastics that are floating in the bottle. So hold up your bottle of water to the light and look at it. Sometimes you can see those little floaties in there. And when you have home filtration like a purionic system, you know it's getting treated. Definitely getting right. treated. You know. I got to tell you something. I've seen recalls on bottles of water from some fancy grocery stores over oh, yeah. and over and over, over over the last few years, really. And you're paying for that, too. Oh, yes. Once you come into my house, I'm not paying for this huge jug I'm going to fill up every morning. Or all these people now are drinking. I think you might be over drinking water, if you want to ask me. They got these big jugs like for the whole day's worth. And I don't know if we need that much water, honestly. But, yeah, you know, fill it up. You don't have to pay for it. Well, you know, you should be drinking uh, at least eight eight ounce glasses of water a day. I drink probably about a gallon to yeah. a gallon and a half myself. But you know, back to bottled water, it's just, it's unquestionable uh, quality a lot of times. Absolutely. Carter Burks, Carter Water, do yourself a favor. Look, if you own your house, you gotta get better water. It, it, it's gonna make sense financially in the long run too. I assure you, you're gonna save money every month because you're not buying all that bottled water or lugging those big jugs from Publix that you had to fill up. That is no fun. All you have to do when you go with Carter's system 
turn on the faucet, you have clean water, clean, safe water. You don't have to worry about your family bathing, which, look, if you can smell the water in the bathtub, something's wrong. Right. Carter, excellent work today, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for, for being me. here as always. Andrea Rickheim, as always, great to see you as well. Thank I will you. never forget you two in the show with our new studio here. They, they, I want to call JC Studio, but I've heard some things like <laughs> Studio C or whatever, but next time you're here, I'll tell you if I, my name's stuck. I was thinking they could put a little plaque like JC Absolutely. Studio, but Let's I, didn't, so. I, didn't, I didn't see it when I walked in. Oh. Uh, awesome. Hey, thank you for joining me today. We love having you here every single Saturday. Pre-approval, Dallas Lehman, standing by right now, 407-205-0400. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm attorney Justin Clark, and we'll see you next Saturday for more You Have Real Estate. Just in case you haven't heard lately, mortgage rates are at historic lows. In my entire career, I have never seen them dip this low. Now may be your best time to own your dream home and stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent, refinance to a lower rate to save money on your monthly mortgage payment, or pay off high-interest credit card and other debt. My name is Dallas Lehman, president of You Have Mortgage. No one knows when rates will begin to climb again, but they will and can go back up quickly. Call me today so we can tailor your historic rate and program. Our premier under one roof team is here to provide our very best for you. Do you want to feature your home for free on our show? My name is Vivian Lehman with You Have Realty, and we've come up with a comprehensive marketing strategy to get your home sold quickly. Whether buying or selling, we have all the resources for your real estate transaction, builder, insurance, title, mortgage, and we might even know Justin Clark. All under one roof. Call us at 407-205-0400. Hey Central Florida, it's Carter Burks here with Carter Water Home Solutions. Have you ever noticed how your water may have a smell to it or a bad taste? Well, that's not how water's supposed to be. It should be tasteless and odorless. It should be clear. And at Carter Water, we're here to help you find a way to make it that way. You can go to carterwater.com, request a free water test. No obligation, no pressure. For your no-cost, no-obligation water test, give us a call today at 407-205-0400 or go to carterwater.com. Be happy to come by. I know exactly how expensive it is out there right now to buy a second home or an investment property. And one of the things, when you go buy the beach house, you might go on the weekends, every other weekend. It literally is just sitting there the rest of the time, costing you money. That is not what you guys have created down at Embassy Suites by Hilton there at the uh, Orlando Sunset Walk. What? How, how does it work? When I buy down there, how does it work for okay. me? Okay, let me take a step back. It, it's a condo hotel. So what is a condo hotel? It basically taken the ownership structure of a condominium and combined it with the features and services that you get with a resort or a hotel. How do I reserve a unit? How do I come down there and see them? Do I call my realtor how does this work so right in the the promenade is the entertainment district of the sunset walk resort right there 3240 margaritaville boulevard we have a 6500 square foot uh, sales gallery it has two full-scale models of a studio and a one bedroom um, you can come down there you can schedule an appointment or you can just walk in the doors we're open seven days a week and uh, we'll, you'll find out all about it i'm telling you if you're looking at buying a second home in in really paradise and we've been down to this this resort it's it's unbelievable you you might even think of it as margaritaville because that's the the existing big hotel there but the water park the restaurants it is an awesome place as soon as you walk in the gates you feel like you're in a, in a whole nother world and, and really in paradise